So what are we doing here? Every year, millions of sardines fall the cold water current up South Africa's eastern coastline in an underwater migration known as the sardine run. This brings in dolphins, sharks, whales, seals, and birds that also feed off these large schools of fish. In the dive world, it's a bucket list experience, fast action and raw nature. Okay. So every morning, we suited up at 5.30 a.m. in the chilly dawn light. Have you ever tried putting on a damp six millimeter wetsuit? It sucks. We grabbed our free dive gear, cameras, and prayed our seasickness pills worked. Extraordinary experiences like this often require a lot of effort. For eight hours a day, we searched up and down the coast, waiting for a bait ball to form, even if only for a few minutes. Our adrenaline would start pumping as we caught glimpses of the chaos deep below the surface and would scramble to get our gear ready and slip into the water. The ingredients for a bait ball are tricky. Basically what happens is common dolphins work together to round up the sardines by blowing rings of bubbles, eventually herding the fish into a unified bait ball. Next, large flocks of gannets begin dive bombing to feed as the dolphins push the sardines closer to the surface. At the same time, bonitos rapidly attack the sardines from the bottom. The action picks up, sharks are attracted to the vibrations in the water and also come in to join the feeding frenzy. Just as everything reaches a climax, the biggest predators show up. A whale will eat the entire bait ball, and the process starts all over again. What we didn't anticipate was how quickly everything would be moving, and more importantly, how the long hours of seeing nothing in between would start to take its toll on our morale. We'd get in the water and the bait ball would already be out of sight. It felt nearly impossible to be in the right place at the right time to capture it. In the end, making this film come to life required a collaborative effort. All 10 of us each contributed a few seconds of footage in order to piece together the story that you're seeing here. During our last days on the run, we came back to our original intention. Just a group of friends coming together for an adventure, both underwater and on land. Maybe they weren't the planned out shots we were hoping to capture, but it's that exact rush and enjoyment of the unexpected that keeps us so entranced by nature. It's never guaranteed, but I'm sure we will still be the ones going out early and staying out extra late the next time we're on the run. We're always hoping to see the extraordinary. It's our last day and we're on a mission. We're gonna go get one of the biggest bait balls ever. But we're also learning that the degree to which we can let go of expectations allows us to see more clearly the beauty we might have missed along the way. Okay. <laughs> I'm ready. <laughs>